Hello everyone. Welcome to Signal Series. This Signal Series consists of few learning and practice sessions for those appearing in Signals exams. Hope this will help you. Without wasting time, just hop into the introduction. Morse code. The signals commonly known as dates and dots, named after Samuel Morse, an inventor of telegraph. By the way, by profession he was a portrait painter. There are many ways of signaling. Here we are just focusing on flashing light signaling using the Morse code. A dot or dot is taken as a unit. A dash or da is equivalent to three units. The space between two elements of a symbol is equivalent to one unit. The space between two complete symbols it is equivalent to three units and between two words or groups is equivalent to seven units. The standard rate of signaling by flashing light is regarded as 40 letters per minute. Most importantly, when you are receiving, let's say you are receiving Eco India Sera Hotel and you miss a Sera, please, please leave a space and write hotel in a next box. If you do not leave a space then even if you have received the rest correctly but as the sequence has gone wrong your whole reception will be considered wrong. One more important thing to remember if a sender makes a mistake he will send eight or more dates. The receiver must cancel the last character and rewrite the character in the same box. Or in case of message, on flashing eight or more dates, he must cancel the whole word and rewrite the word again. Family of dates, your first exercise. Here we will learn and practice Eco, India, Sierra, Hotel, and Penta 5. And remember, always use ITU phonic pronunciation. The message begins with BT, Bravo Tango, and ends with AR, Alpha Romeo, which you are not supposed to write. Bravo and Tango and Alpha and Romeo will be combined to sound one signal.
Here is the key for exercise 1. This was exercise 1. Hope it was helpful. We'll upload our next exercise shortly. Until then, see you next time and take care.